Good morning, Braves. I'm going to show you how you can use Paradox uh, Flashcard Factory in your classroom to help make vocabulary a little more engaging. You already have this resource. It's already paid for it, and it's premium. So the only thing uh, in your way is just getting started. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, to go ahead and start, you're going to go to paradeck.com. Okay, and you're going to join as a teacher, sign in as a teacher. Okay, you have that premium account, so just sign in with Google. And then it'll bring you to your dashboard page. You'll go ahead and click on Flashcard Factory right here. And it is going to start by saying, okay, well, what terms do you want to do? Now you could do, you know, dog. Um, and then if you want, you can put in your own definitions or you can click this definition button and it'll pop up with some other versions for you. You don't have to put a definition if you don't want to. Uh, sometimes that's what I have my kids do depending on our unit of study. And you'll just add another term, so on and so forth. And then you can also import options. You can export, you can share, so that someone on your team, maybe they made it, and you can share it with them. I went ahead and I made some for a session this past summer. And from there, it actually saves it in your Google Drive. So if I go to my Google Drive, I knew that it was my 70s uh, session, and I just open it right here. And so I have these 70s vocabulary terms that I used. I'm going to click Open with Pear Deck, and all the work is done for me. So I did front load that work, and I saved it for later. It's right here. Now we're going to play Flashcard Factory. <clears throat> so uh, this part, it's similar to the normal pair day. Um, we're going to pretend that I do see it on the projector. <laughs> and again, students will just go to joinpd.com. They'll type in the code. As they join, it'll show up right here. And then we will clock in. At this point, it will have sorted them all on its own. Uh, I'm not using student names, obviously, right now, but it will sort them into day shift and night shift. And this kind of helps increase the competition a little bit. And they start getting super excited. Oh, you're my partner. You're my partner. You're my partner. If you see that some friends are together that maybe shouldn't be, go ahead and shuffle those teams. Okay. Now then, let's go ahead and play. So when you play on their end, it will pop up with... Um, either an option to write about the term or an option to draw the term. So no one person will always be drawing. No one person will always be writing. It'll switch between the two. And when both parts are done, they can ship it. Now when it's shipped, it will fall down on a conveyor belt and you can go through and do quality control. And this is probably my kiddo's favorite part <laughs> about the whole thing. Um, and there, you go to export to GIMKit Live. And the cool thing about Pear Deck and GIMKit is that they are um, related, I guess. So as long as you start a vocabulary session, a flashcard session within Pear Deck, you will always be able to play that in GIMKit, even if you don't have GIMKit. So I don't pay for GIMKit, but I will always and forever be able to use my vocabulary cards that I've made within Pear Deck to game kit, I'm doing just like I did here, okay? So I'm just going to label it sample, and then you'll export it to game kit live, okay? You go to set, and immediately you'll be able to play. Students will use their cards that they've created with their definitions or examples, their drawings, and it's a really good way to increase engagement and keep it student-centered within your classroom. So if you have any other questions about how you can use Flashcard Factory in your classroom, let me know.